Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Faith and today I will be doing a get to know me video. There are a couple of questions, but I've narrowed it down to just 10. I'll be answering 10 questions. So let's roll. I am a human resource professional. That is my nine to five. I've been around a couple of industries, you know, worked around a bit. I have worked in three multinationals. Yes, I'm a big girl. Worked in three. I'm joking. <laughs> but I have actually worked in three multinationals. I currently work in the entertainment space. It's also a multinational within that space. So yeah, that's what I do. I'm a human resource professional. Hmm, my skills. So... I am ambidextrous. Yes, I can use both hands. All the when I'm rushing. <laughs> All the when I'm washing. I'm kidding. I mean, I, yeah, well, you know, before the advent of washing machine, when we're growing up, when we want to wash, like everybody washes this way, but I wash this way. You can see, I'm even faster, even doing the demo. So yes, I am ambidextrous. Let me put that as my top skill. Of course it's not. I love to present. I present shows. Um, I host events. Um, what else? Oh, of course, I'm an actress. I do stage plays. I've done a couple of stage plays back in Nigeria. You know, on some relatively big stages. At least if you've done a play in Muson Center, then you know you're doing something right. So yeah, I do stage plays. That's what I love to do. My favorite food is rice in any shape or form. <laughs> rice, fried rice, jollof rice, just white rice on its own. I mean rice, like I can eat rice three times a day, you know, seven times a week for a whole year. That's how bad, I mean, that's how bad it is. When I was younger, my mom would say, oh, see, you eat rice too much. Like that's supposed to start going on your head, like just to scare me, but no, I did not hear. I eat rice every time, every day. I mean, everybody around me knows, right? Rice, definitely, without a doubt. Hmm, what inspired me to do this? You know, you have to aspire to perspire so that when you retire, I don't know the end of that statement, but what inspired me? Um, let me see. I'm actually just in my comfort zone. <laughs> you know, that's actually the truth. Like, this is just my comfort zone. So this is kind of like an extension of my of my skill, which is presenting. So, you know, that's that's so just kind of just dovetailed on that. Not nothing to don't worry. It's not any aspire to perspire kind of thing. Yeah, it's just something I love to do. Hmm. <laughs> Phobias. Oh my God. I, like even talking about it, you know, makes me scared. <laughs> I'm claustrophobic. Like don't put me in any tight space. Don't put me, you know, don't put me in a small room. Don't, 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 don't do it. Mm -mm. I don't play like that. Like I can play with any, everything and anything, but don't put me in a tight space. We're going to have a big problem. When I was in primary school, so funny story, yeah. When I was in primary school, there was this swing that we had. So it was kind of like a, just imagine a drum, you know, those big drums, right? But imagine it's, you know, placed horizontally. So it could take like, of course, we're little kids. So it could take like maybe five kids at once. So you like go through the drum and then you, um, you, you, you kind of now go through the slide, right? So you go and then you slide down. So there was this kid, I don't know if I catch that boy. Even see today, if I, wherever you are, you know yourself, or oh, that boy that, that was in front of the horizontal um, drum and stayed there. And all of us, we were like, so I was in the middle. So imagine the guy, and then there was another kid, then myself, then two other people behind me. So I was literally in that drum. So you're just supposed to go and then slide down. I think this guy was there. He stayed like this and he was like, he was laughing. He was like, hey, nobody's coming out of here. Ah, I screamed. I cried. What did I not do? I pushed with my little self and my little strength. I did everything within my power. But I was there. I, I'm sure we were there for like maybe like five minutes or ten minutes. No, what am I saying? Maybe like ten minutes. You know, so we were all crying and I don't know if the other kids are scared, but me, 
anyway, from that day, I think that was when this whole claustrophobia thing just started. Like, it was such a traumatic experience. Even thinking about it, I mean, I'm an adult now. I should have forgotten about that, right? But it was that bad. That boy, if I catch you, anywhere you are, you know yourself. But, well, I have a forgiving spirit, so I've forgiven you. But unfortunately, I've not been able to get rid of my claustrophobia. So, yeah, that's one. That's my, I mean, that's, that's definitely uh, my phobia. Then pet beef. <laughs> pet beef. Hmm. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, driving. So, I don't like people, like, one thing that pisses me off. I don't like people that drive. So, you see that, okay, so maybe there's a truck in front of you or there's a car in front of you. You see, I mean, brake lights are there, right? The, the car has slowed down. And then you are on top speed. When you see the car in front of you slowing down, what are you supposed to do? You are supposed to slow down too now. But then... They're just people that just enjoy. I don't know if it's a, if it's the thrill. I don't know what they love about it. They don't slow down, and then the next thing they're approaching the truck or the car in front of them, and then bah, they step on the brakes. And I'm like, what's wrong with you? Are you normal? Why are you driving like that? That's why. I'm like, why couldn't you have just slowed down from the beginning? Like, I don't drive like that. And if I'm in your car and you drive like that, uh, in fact, there was one person. So my first job, of course, you know, graduate trainee now, just going about my business, doing my thing. So there was, you know, someone that used to live close to my area. And of course, he used to give me a ride and everything every now and again. But man, every time I'm in that car, I'm sharing the grace. I'm confessing my sins. I'm telling God, Father, just accept me as I am because I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> like, you literally jack because, you know, that's, that's how... <coughs> You are just talking about it now. It's, it's just so please don't be like that. Don't drive, drive, drive like a normal human being. Don't, don't drive like that. That's definitely something that, oh yeah, that's something that's my, my pet peeve. Hmm. <laughs> it's, uh, this one, I mean, and honestly, this one happened last month. Yeah, was it last month? Yeah, I think it was last month. So yeah it's, it's, it's very embarrassing because you know it's not something you want to say but i'm just gonna say it i peed myself yeah i peed myself in public in a store in fact shopper's drug mart to be precise i peed myself in front of a married man <laughs> don't, don't be confused i mean here's how it happened so i was feeling pressed and i was like oh you know yeah i can hold it now let me just wait so i was waiting you know to just to just get home i, uh, I was like let me just wait you know the uh, man after a while i just couldn't take it so there was a shopper's drug mart across the street the next thing you know i tried to open the door and then there was someone there at that point you know i don't know how this thing happens but i don't know if I, I, have you ever felt pressed before it is when you are getting close to the toilet or the, the, the washroom. That is when the thing intensifies. I don't know the spirits behind it, but that is just how it happens. So that, you know, when I got to the door and then I tried opening it and then someone was there, immediately, thing just, you know, pressure from nowhere. I just froze, right? And then I let it, I just, I let it go. I let it flow. <laughs> the guy in the restroom came out. Lo and behold, it was... You know, a guy, not even a lady, eh, to make matters worse. You know, the guy, I saw his, you know, the ring band. So, it's probably a married man. And then, I just stood there, froze, and the pee was just coming out. And I was wearing a pair of jeans, brightly colored jeans. And then, the thing just flew, and the guy was looking at me. That, that definitely was a moment. Yeah, it happened. This is not fiction. It actually happened. Hmm. I love cats. Yep. <laughs> you heard me right. I love cats. Um, I know it's strange for an adult girl, you know. <laughs> you know what they say about adult people. But well, anyway, let's not go into that. But if you're if you know, you know. But yeah, I love cats actually. We we had one when I was younger. He died. I don't know what happened. I think you know a bone cut got stuck in his throat because he kept trying to i don't know if you i won't say cough i don't know if cats cough but you know for a few days and then it, it passed on but yeah it was 
I loved it. Like it would slip on the bed with me. It would cut, you know, just be there. And I think they have the sense when things are wrong, the sense when you're happy, the sense of your emotions. So yeah, cats definitely, but you know, don't don't tie it to the Edo team. Please don't don't do that. <coughs> don't do that. But I love cats, yes, and I'm not I'm not ashamed to say. Favorite TV show will be How to Get Away with Murder. Yeah, quite interesting. Ah, oh, my goodness, Viola Davis. Oh, she's 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 just beautiful to watch. You know when someone embodies a character and like, you, you, don't you just love watching her? That's definitely my favorite TV show. And then another thing that is very amazing about it is that, ha, lawyers, we need to fear you people. Yes, all of you that are lawyers, we need to fear you. How can somebody kill, I mean, this person killed another person in cold blood, like, they, they, everything points to the fact that this person is a murderer, but then they are able to talk their way out of the situation and then the person goes either scot-free or at least gets maybe like one or two years for murder. I fear you people, lawyers. Yeah, so how to get a with murder, hands down, favorite TV show. Oh, dream job as a kid. Yeah. Medicine, actually. I was going to be a medical doctor. Fun fact. I was actually studying medicine. Yeah, I, I bet you didn't know that. I, I, I studied medicine for a couple of months. I was in a private school, but, you know, but stay for another day. Let's just leave that. <laughs> but yeah, I ended up not doing medicine. Um, but yeah, I wanted to be a doctor. I, I, I thought it was a fun, prof I thought it was a good profession and I, I thought it was something that would suit me. And of course, you know, parents always want doctors in the family. So I think, yeah, that also added to me wanting to be a doctor. Then the other thing I wanted to be was a newscaster. Hear me right, not presenter. Newscaster. You know those ones on channels, NTA, the, the news. That's what I wanted to do. But then, you know, my mom, bless her, but... <laughs> When I was younger, she would say, ah, no, those people, are you sure? They didn't, they didn't marry earlier. Because, you know, when you're watching, like, NTA, and maybe there's this lady that has been there for years, and you never see her with, like, a wedding band or anything. So my mom would say, ah, no, hmm, can, as, as you can see, this particular lady, I'm not sure she's married, or she's been there for years. What is these news cast They don't marry earlier, they don't marry. So, <laughs> for some reason, maybe that got into my head, and then I, you know, just... Yeah, I gave up on that idea of being a newscaster. But it, it shadows on my mind when I was a kid. So that's it. That was number nine. I know someone is expecting number ten. But there's no number ten. Must there be number ten? Uh -uh, must everything be round figure? Ah, is it money? Eh, there's no number ten. <laughs> anyway, um, so that's pretty much it about me so but if you want to know more feel free to drop a comment uh, below and i'll definitely respond to you hit that like button you also want to subscribe you also want to share this video and um, stay tuned for more content from this channel take care